my quad is up there on that roof right at the corner and I'm gonna try to rescue it with this camera drone. Okay, so the wife left me alone for the morning. She's out doing hot yoga or some other such girly stuff. I've been charging a little bit this morning while my laundry's in the wash. So I finished up my coffee and now it's time to go fly some packs today. I don't have a ton of time. Gosh, does it take you guys that long to get all your stuff ready to go fly? I spent the last two hours getting everything ready, getting my radio charged, making sure my goggle battery was charged, and now it's ready. Now, it's raining. Are you kidding me? Look at the sky. I now I have a fully charged set of batteries. I can't even go fly. Should I try to go drive and find a dry spot? I don't know what to do, guys. This sucks. And so I found this little spot close to a school that at least has this little awning in there. So hopefully I can fly in there and avoid a little bit of the rain. It is just sprinkling here and there's a tree above. So hopefully that'll block me enough to be able to fly at least a quick pack and check out this new fly woo hex oh my gosh oh my gosh freaking arm broke i didn't even crash into anything it just it just broke i did nothing the pavement was his enemy i'm gonna have to buy a new frame in order to finish the review or should i just publish the review like this i mean good lord Okay, now it's not just sprinkling, it's full-fledged raining. I had to land my quad over there because uh, I didn't want to fly back in this heavy of rain. Let's go grab this sucker. Hopefully it's not too wet. Okay, I got the quad. It was a lot wetter than I had hoped. I spent way too long setting up this shot when I should have been out there grabbing it. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be okay, but just to be on the safe side, I'm not gonna turn this quad on for like a few days. I'm just gonna let it sit there and try it out. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Yeah! Uh, that was probably a bad idea to go try to fly right before it was gonna start raining. What am I supposed to do, guys? I got 12 packs charged. Now I gotta drive all the way back home. <sighs> what an absolute fail. <sighs> you know, if I wouldn't have spent so long getting as many packs charged, what if I would have just went to go fly when I had six packs charged, I could have flown six packs instead of only flying like less than one pack. But no, I had to like get the laundry done and you get all the packs charged. I just checked the weather. It's 100% rain for the next few hours. Sometimes you get rained out, guys. Sometimes you get rained out. Uh, going home a little defeated, guys. A little disappointed. I wanted to get a lot more flying done today. Uh, I'm truly sad, but I gotta die. Disappointed! Disappointed! Okay, I'm back in the car. There was a short break in the rain, guys. So I'm gonna try once again to get out, find somewhere to fly. Uh, the ground is gonna be too wet to set up some baby gates. Try to do some drills. Get used to these new rates that I have been doing. I just need stick time, guys. The answer for everything, you do a little bit of tuning and you don't wanna keep tuning and tuning and tuning forever. You want to get stick time on that tune, on that set of rates, and that's what I'm trying to do. It's hot as balls out here, so I'm gonna fly from inside the car. Another 4S battery, let's okay, check let's this out. Open. things that I like is that it's these new rates and tune I'm trying is very predictable this is the Express LRS uh, receiver system is that water what is that it's uh, that's the only thing about analog is you can't really see what the heck's going on I can't tell if that's like a new thing that they installed here it looks like it might be tile or it could be water but look how predictable these loops are um, uh, what I've been trying to do is on these very quick um, sort of turns, there's a lot of these quick uh, arcs in the qualifier, as I'm trying to get them to where they're very predictable, 
and I don't have any adjustments. What I found when I was reviewing my DVR a lot is when I was making these long circular, circular type moves, I would end up, if I was going too fast, doing like lots of micro adjustments, kind of like this. And so when you see those little micro adjustments in the DVR, um, you know that you need to adjust your rates some. Okay, that was not bad. I'm glad I finally came out. The quad wasn't too wet after all. Um, it did land up here, so it didn't get any water in there. That's good. So let's get a couple more packs. Let's see if I can kill all the packs I charged today, and it won't be a failure of a fly day after all. Now I'm feeling good, guys. Okay, well, huge fail. I should have stayed home if the rain wasn't a sign. I went ahead and sent it anyway. I got a death spiral. I think the battery came loose, and when that happens, it shakes your quad all around. I couldn't see. I wasn't DVRing that one pack. I was just flying a couple extra ones to use up my batteries, and I lost it. So I came home, got the DJI goggles, got this squirt, sent it up, and I found it. I actually landed on the roof. Uh, there's no way to get up there. So what I'm gonna try to do is send this um, camera drone and see if I can create something that will be able to drag it off. It's actually fairly close to the edge of the roof, so I only gotta drag it about maybe eight or 10 feet and it'll just fall off where I can grab it. So I've seen people use um, coat hangers as a, a device to try to retrieve quads, so that's what I'm gonna try to do. Let's just do a test manually to see if this would grab a quad. I can go like that, it should hook it, and just drag it over, and I'll just keep doing it. I don't know if this drone has enough lift to actually be able to carry a quad. It's starting to drizzle. I don't know how long I should let this battery charge. I wanna kinda of go up there and get it, but I don't wanna run out of battery. I'm gonna to have to figure out how to bind this thing and everything, so. Uh. My quad is up there on that roof right at the corner, and I'm gonna to try to rescue it with this camera drone. I haven't flown this thing in a long time. I had to look up the directions how to even arm it. Okay, let's turn this thing on. Let's get it bound up and send it over there. Okay, this is not working at all. The hanger is just acting like a giant pendulum, causing this drone to swing back and forth uncontrollably. Um, I'm gonna have to land this thing in K before it flies off too, and I'm gonna have to send the Syndrome Squirt Cinewoop. And we're off, sending it up there. Let me try to get close. I figure if I can kind of turn around, I can see where the rope, nope, that did not work. Let's try it again. Did I get it? Did I get it? Nope, that did nothing. Uh, here we go, let's see if I can yank it. Uh, one false move and it's all over. Nope, that did not work. Oh my gosh. I only have enough time for a couple more passes. I can see that the arm is broken. Oh, I'm pulling it, I'm pulling it, I'm pulling it, I'm pulling it, come on, come on. This is so sketch, let's go, come down. I'm trying to pull it towards the front. Oh, and there we go. We finally got it. I can't believe it. Uh, all right, now it's time to get out of here while the rain is not pouring.
So I was able to get the quad back in the end. Boy, what an ordeal. This is the slam squirt that I used to save the day. It's actually the Johnny Five edition that's gonna be coming up on the channel very soon. I made a few special modifications to this thing to make it a lighter formula, which I think helped me carry the extra weight to drag that racing quad off of that roof. Uh, sometimes the bear gets you guys and sometimes you get the bear. You know what I mean. Thanks guys.